Hi, let us learn how to create this beautiful interactive icons with explanation on a click and it's surprisingly easy to create. So let us jump right in. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a placeholder for the icon. So let us go to auto shapes gallery from basic shapes. Let us pick up this oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw an oval like so. Then let us go to insert icons and pick up any icon of your choice. Let us go to holidays and let us say I want to pick up the icon of this rabbit and say insert and let us place this right over here. Of course, you can fill this with any color, maybe something like this and then go to shape outline, no outline. And for this one, we're going to give white color. So it is in contrast with the background. And if you want to increase the size of the icon, you can click on it and then hold control and shift both together. So you are able to expand this from the center rather than from the sides. Then let us select both of these items and press control G to create a group. The next step is to provide the explanation for this icon. So let us go to auto shapes gallery from rectangles, pick up the second one called as rectangle rounded corners and then draw a rounded corner rectangle like so, which has the height matching the diameter. And if you want to be sure, you can always click once and that selects the group and then click again to select the circle and see the diameter, which is 3.68 centimeters. And you can always click on this rectangle and see to it that the height is 3.68 centimeters. Everything is perfect. Now I can click on this yellow handle and make a full curvature and then place it right like this and send it back. I can extend this to any distance I want. And then let us go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the text box tool and write our explanation. Here I have the text. Let me choose a different font type, maybe a masses MT pro increase the size and then place it over here and then fold it. So it fits into the space and keep it right in the middle and then make sure that this shape has the same fill color as this one here for the icon. So let us once again, go to shape fill and choose the same color and remove the outline as we did for the earlier one. And we are going to change this to white colored font. So it is in contrast with the background. Now let us select this text and this background shape and press control G to group it, right click and send this to back. Now we have got all the basic elements in place. It is time for us to add animation and make this interactive. First, let us select this group here, which has the circle and the icon. Let us name this differently. So let us go to home, go to select and say selection pane. Instead of calling it group 31, which really doesn't explain what this is, we are going to select that and then double click it and we can rewrite the name here. So let us call this icon circle. So it is very clear what this represents. And then let us select this group, which has the background shape and this text. And let us call this explanation. Excellent. Now let us close the selection pane. We don't really need it anymore. Go to animations, animation pane. So you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply a simple wipe animation to this background shape. Let us go to wipe and say from left. So that is the animation. By default, this animation for the explanation is set to be on click. We're going to change that. Let us select the animation event, go to trigger and say on click off. What is on click off? It has to be on click off this icon circle. If you remember, that is what we called the earlier one. So we call it icon circle and you can see that it is based on a trigger right now. When I go to slideshow, you can see the icon circle. When I take the cursor to the icon circle, you can see that it changes to a hand. When I click on it, immediately I get the explanation. So that is how you create interactive icons. Once you know how to make one, you can always make multiple copies and have them on your slide. So you just click on the relevant icon and you'd be able to get your explanation. Of course, if you want to make a copy, you can always press control D and place it to the new position and then click once and that takes you to a specific group and then click again to select the specific icon, right click and then say change graphic from icons and you can choose some other icon. Maybe this nut can be selected and say insert. Now instead of this rabbit, now you have the nut. It is that easy for you to use multiple copies to explain various points on your slide. Now talking about explaining with icon or image, 
I want to show you some creative examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. This is one of the templates where we show four points that explain this image on the right. Of course, you can always replace this image with any other image of your choice. Another example is this where we have four of these pictures. On a click, we can see that there is an explanation given for the first one and then a hand comes and gets the explanation for the second one, for the third one and for the fourth one. And let us go to the last showcase. This is four icons and text and we bring in the icons like this with a very interesting and dramatic animation that draws the viewer's attention to a specific icon and then we provide the relevant explanation. In fact, our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle has a collection of more than 4,500 such premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you make your presentations beautiful and engaging. The link is in the description box below the video. By the way, if you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I put together called Create an Interactive Slide Deck in PowerPoint. This is a fairly popular tutorial with more than 2.6 million views. So I will leave a link to this tutorial right here on your screen. You can click on the link and go to that specific tutorial and learn a very useful technique that you can use in your next presentation. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free five day email mini training, you can click on the link here and join the course. In that course, I share 25 simple and immediately applicable tips in PowerPoint. Not only that, I also add you to the daily email list where I share one simple tip every day so you can improve your PowerPoint skills and take it to the next level. If you are interested in something like that, you can click on the link here, join the course and I will see you inside.